Let's Play! Hi guys! Welcome back to Let's Play Analog, A Hate Story. In the last part, we read the unsent letters, and this time we are going to show them to Hyune. First off, let's actually find that unsent letter. Right here, she's wanting to talk to us, so let's go talk to her about the unsent letter. I don't know about you, but I had a really hard time reading that the first time. Can you imagine that? It's even as if I knew her. I didn't even know either existed when I was alive. I mean, sure, their mother mentioned that she'd had daughters before, in a sort of abstract way. But she never told me so much as their names, let alone, well, anything. Anyway, none of that was my original point. My point was, now do you see what I mean? When Mute talks about a happy marriage, that's not what she's talking about. It's not as if I'm the only woman to have a horrible marriage. It wasn't my fault, that's just... That's what happens. That's normal. Oh, well, that's slightly depressing. Well, let's continue reading. So we finished up block one here completely. Let's head on to block two. Block two are entries from... Oh, here's an unsent letter from Osojin. When I first saw you, bringing my husband home in the late hours of the night, I was jealous. Jealous. All I could think of was my daughter, and the first courtesan he'd had an affair with nine years ago. Courtesan means prostitute, by the way. Just letting you know. With every brief glimpse of you that I, with every br brief glimpse of you that I saw as you passed through our home, my heart burned a little, as if you embodied every single fault of my a farce of a marriage. I will never send this letter, because I know how ridiculous it sounds. For weeks, I, a noble wife, could be jealous of a poor cor courtesan? But you are young and beautiful, full of grace and energy. I am none of these. Only after you had been entertaining him for a month did I start to realize what I was really feeling. True, I was jealous, but not of you for having my husband. I was jealous of my husband for having the affections of a girl so pretty as you. These are such ridiculous thoughts for a woman to have, I know. And even more ridiculous still is the way they, they have overwhelmed me. I used to dread my husband bringing his courtesans home with him. Now I look forward to your nights together. How could I not, when it means that I am treated to be to the sight of your bashful face in the morning? When we exchanged glances, you'd hide behind your long hair. With so much cuteness and grace, my eyes couldn't help but wander to the way to admire the way it rests on your breasts, to see your clothes draped loosely over your hips. I cannot help myself from admiring your body as you try to hide from me. It is ridiculous to be pre so preoccupied with such thoughts, and perhaps I was better off than having never realized them. Nevertheless, even though I may be as much of a woman as you, I find myself longing for the same affections you shower my husband with. There is nothing more to it than that. I would tr like to truly get to know you better. I like to imagine that we have much in common, aside from the obvious. When I see you hiding in your corridor on those mornings, I imagine wrapping my own arms around those lovely hips, sharing long conversations about our tribulations in life, discovering just how much alike we are. And perhaps, I like to imagine we could share more than that. I've been married for ten years to a man who's never paid me any attention for nine of them. Perhaps my old age has made me bold, but I want more. The next time I see you, I promise I will say something. For in all my 26 years, I've never felt a longing for anything this intensely. I don't care how wrong it is. As a wife and a woman, I want you, Hannah. So the wife has the hots for the prostitute. You can't make this stuff up, folks. Well, then again, you can. This is a video game. Oh, um, so you've read those, then. Not that it was seen appropriate for women to spend time with anyone but other women friending, but, um, uh, uh, so, um, why are you showing me this? It's not wrong, I mean, in our society, it's completely right to hear what you- I want to I know your opinion on it. Uh, why do you ask me? Do you, uh, approve of that sort of thing? Totally. Uh, uh I see. Well, it's when she said she wanted to be seduced. I can definitely really understand that. Especially if it was a- Whoa! Especially if it was someone I really liked. It sounds like a good thing to me. 
Not that I could really imagine doing that with any of my servants, but I, uh... Jeez, why are we even talking about something this embarrassing? Can we talk about something else? Oh, Hine, you... You hide your emotions poorly for a robot, Hannah. My art is that of lies and lying, and of both I, and of both I have much practice. I've said to men, I love you, falsely. I've suffered pain but smiled in pleasure, but the hardest lie I've ever told was I could live without you. Well, that's, that's a nice little poem. I said I really didn't want to talk this- oh, okay, well, it- Your thingy was blue! How- how can I- when the thingy is blue, you know, I want to- that's just what- oh, fine! Fine! Be that way. Here we have Brought Home by Oso Jin. These past few months have left me so very anxious with anticipation. Nearly a year has passed since the wedding ceremony. And before this week, Sang Min had only visited my family once, promising he would bring me home bring me home with him for sure the next time. I know I'm supposed to be enjoying living with my parents while it lasts, but all I can think about is my husband. How is a new bride expected to have so such patience? For nearly a year, a day hasn't gone by I haven't thought of how beautiful he thought he how beautiful he thought me in my wedding dress, or how it felt spending that night held so gently in his strong hands. Looking forward to the day where I could live in his house. I can't help but feel as anxious in my heart as excited I am in my hips. I know it is ungraceful to think, uh, to think of such things, but how could I help myself? In any event, he arrived yesterday to take me with him to his ancestral sh shrine, and finally his home. Such luxury I've never seen in my life. A servant to prepare meals, entirely separate women's quarters, and a dining room with a window that shows the stars. My family was hardly all that poor, but a window to the stars? How amazing a sight! I knew that I was lucky to have been married into a noble family, but I never realized just how lucky. I wonder if I'll have time to write as much as I used to. Oh, but I must stop for tonight. I can hear my husband coming. I have been looking forward to this night for so long now. How I hope I can make him happy. Just hearing his footsteps outside the door makes my heart pound. So this is... After, this is way before, this is when she just got married to the dude, this Osojin, before the whole prostitute thing, which was ten years later than this, I guess. So you're interested in the smiths then? Oh, very well. This is pretty much all new to me, too, actually. So I guess you can see for yourself, Osojin did have an ordinary woman's desires at one point. And even then, she sure was all about expressing those desires, at least in white writing. Wow. Ungraceful is certainly a way to put it. Not that I'm judging. I'm sure she'd never say anything like that. I'm hardly one to talk either. So, um, just out of curiosity, what do you make of her as a new bride? I mean, she seems sweet, I guess. Yeah, I think so too. It's really cute. It sadly doesn't seem to last. It looks like her marriage was... well... Oh geez, that's... it's not quite as bad as mine, but I really don't envy her. Poor woman. Well, if you're interested in learning more, I've just put together a family tree of the Smith family, which should help you keep track of them. Um, I'm less certain about this one. Since, you know, not my family and all. Okay, well, we can go back to that later. I think we're good right now. Oh, there's another message thing here. Here, I'll cut right to the, um, I was gonna say the interesting part, but that's kind of awful, isn't it? I mean, given we're talking about a real person's life here, Jesus is a bit uncomfortable. The poor girl does go from being cute to excited to, well, um, what I mean, really mean is she got jaded really quickly. The family situation sounds like a really awkward arrangement. I'll show you what I mean. Let me know what you, let me know what you think after you're reading that, after you've read that. Oh god, I cannot, it's cause allergies, I swear. Well, let's keep reading. Laughable situation. I cannot believe that just two years ago I was actually excited about moving into the Smith home with my husband. Oh, how shortly that lasted. I find it funny. The first time I realized that I had- I- oh my god, I can't read. The first time I realized that I would have to compete for his affections with every common woman and courtesy he came across, I was shocked. The first time he brought one home, I cried for a week. A mother-in-law was furious with me, claiming it was my fault for not being with him enough. Now I realize the insanity of her reasoning as if she wouldn't have known her son was simply that sort of man. The only person who had any right to be shocked was me. 
Still, I struggle for his attention. But now, it's all but banal. If the truth- If the truth is to be told, this is something I would have- Oh my god, I can't read. If the truth is to be told, this is something I would not tell mother-in-law, nor mute, nor least of all my husband. I do not even fight for his affections for his own sake. It's pure selfishness on my part. All I wish is for some indicator that it isn't as though as I'm unattractive, that it isn't as though I'm unlikable. Any affection he simply gets is simply an attempt at fishing that affirmation out of him, and nothing more. Daughter. For the past two months, ever since it became impossible to hide that she was with child, Zhang Mi has been living in our house, and no visitors have been allowed to come in. It has created an incredibly awkward state of affairs. I can hardly stand to be in the same room with that courtesan, let alone live with her. Until recently, so few words have exchanged. Have we exchanged? I did not even know her name until the third week of living here. My husband made an agreement to go along with the fiction that the child is actually mine, which... Well, I've yet to give him one myself, so if that is how I am to make up for it, then this is what I'll do. I thought it was going to be so hard to keep up the pretense pretend that this child is my own, while the real mother lives under the same roof, yet apparently not. As it turns out, this whole charade has been absolutely nothing. After all that, the child turned out to be a girl. Of course, I'm sure Zhang Mi is quite happy, since she's already been brought out, in the hopes that we could pretend her son was mine. But an illegitimate daughter? Well, who cares? It would be almost- it would almost be funny, if not for the fact that it means I will have to live with a constant reminder of how little my husband cares for me. Almost, but not really. Oh, well, that's not very good. So, High Magistrate Smith Sang Min, huh? This man is just... wow, he's a real piece of work. He could just keep his pants on. He could just not keep his pants on, it seems. I mean, neglecting his wife so he could get a Curtis and pregnant? Wow, what kind of a man does that? Please tell me you feel the same. Yeah, he's, he's awful. I know, right? The idea of a woman living only for a man is awful, just awful. But there's one way to make it worse, for the man to ignore her entirely. Can you imagine living like that? Just being kept away in the women's quarters, with nobody to care about, care about you in any way? I don't think your marriage was worse than mine, but at least I had something. I didn't have to worry about scandals about to blow up in the family's face. There's one thing that's good about being the Emperor's consort, I guess. So, all he ever paid attention to was women who weren't his wife, and all his assorted business here. I'll show you what that all is. We will, uh, okay. Looking at this, it seems he spent more time with his brothers than his wife. But we will get to that next time, folks, on Analog A Hate Story. See you guys then. Ciao.